welcome to sinless productions um i uh, want us to talk about banzi nero the hosanna hit maker do you know something i think i heard this song online i'm not really so, so i'll say i'm not so much active on tiktok because um i heard that this song like this song is all over tiktok but some way somehow although i have an account there which you may be watching me from there but i'm i'm not really active there so my first time hearing from this guy was on code mickey i think he came for an interview with code mickey and from there i saw some chats and i saw his name in there and now i feel like Charlie. then i have to find out or how to find time and just listen, listen to this song but yes still anytime that uh, maybe i'll try to listen to that song there's something will come up then uh, i'll just forget so i think today i was just passing by somewhere and i heard this song and i was like i think this is the song so i just pay a little attention then from there i, I just take my phone out search on youtube then started listening so from this i found out that this guy like let me take let me take uh, let me tell you this like i thought like when i, I thought seeing um, this guy name on the chat before i would hear the song i thought it was one of that that thing that i would say maybe a lucky hit i thought it was just one random lucky hit something but after i listened to the song and i listened to all the words in charlie this is not something that that like, it's not something that we, we will say a, a, like a lucky hit or something because they like there's a much detail in the song there's so much that the song is actually saying this song is not close to something that like is supposed to be described as lucky hit it's nowhere close because there is much talent in the guy because um watching him and could make his interview he said he did a, a song called bali is sabali so um looking at what he did for that song looking looking at the, the kind of um i think they, they give all out they go all out with that song they shoot a the music video for it they make sure they promote it but that song didn't make it as they wanted it so he thought like it i think he thought like his dream was over because Although he believes he is going to do this music thing, but I feel like as much as I, I have like spent this much in this music uh, in this Sabali song and uh, never go anywhere. So what's next for me? So from there, I started thinking about all these things. Then this Hosanna song, like this this thing, like the certain thing that came in mind. Like should I stop or should I continue? On? Did he have that intention in his mind? Just back and forth. So from there, we pick. So from there, then you have like also Zana. Then he started putting out uh, this song lyrics, the Zana song lyrics. Then from nowhere, we have this hit. The two maybe no Kasana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the like one our previous song we do mm. Sabali. Mm. Now we think say that be the song we it go blowy mm. because we really they invest to shoot music video and things we pay for promos and things. Mm. Where the Savali not really they give you the exposure like that. Mm. Definitely you go hear things they tell you for your head inside Charlie. What you they do? You know the file. The mm. voices go they come. Mm. The voices go come for one side. The other other side you go they tell you say oh, J I push you mm. pick. Mm. So I tap in the inspiration for them. I say no, I will take right song. Ghana, what to be? So what say if they hear voices? So looking at this, I think this guy is really talented that we need to focus on or we need to pay attention as much as we uh, give to a Black Sheriff and all any other artists. But before that, I think you have to do much more things. You have to work on himself. And looking at this, I don't think he need anything else. I think from the Hosanna song, this is where his career starts. So with me i think they, they may be much revenue from this song because according to him this song this was another song have been most um shazam song for continuously number one continuously for three weeks which is shazam i think shazam work with that apple music or spotify i'm not really sure i think spotify so from there i think this guy is going to be some way somehow going to cash out from this was song but from here i think tally 
or my pray before this uh, his son come so, but i think they, they like they have to invest in the, the, the upcoming songs in the next future because although there's one his song now that we are enjoying on the highway but one his song doesn't make you successful artist we have a lot of artists that had a hit song that have had one hit song before but where are they nowhere so i think all this all the man that he is getting from this i think it's about time they put it together maybe just spend 20 or 50 percent of it then the rest is supposed to be the next future they're supposed to be invested into the next future into his music career because this is where everything starts and as much as he's this talented like you really go pay me see this talent will go down and you will not see him anymore i just wish him so like i, I just want to see him so so much like I, I just want him to be successful in this music industry because of just this this, this hosanna song i listen to this song and i feel like charlie this guy is really talented he blend the like the Ghanaian language with the English like Charlie and how he the both like the this Charlie the, this the, this guy is really talented and I think we need to like this Afro beat Afro beat Afro beat you know Charlie I think this, this some artists like this are those kind of artists that will take us up today I've already said it the, this elite artists have done what they can but it's about time we channel our energy onto this young artist and this guy is one of them he just left it to one thing how he's going to face his next life how he's going to push onto his music career how we the fans we will support him and with this i have started my what you have to do is also stream any song that he will release from now so we see him up there and he have already already said that I think in the in the code Mickey's um interview he said he's coming up like he's really coming hard after this Hosanna song. He's he, he there's more there's more song that he has planned and I think everything goes on well with him. So um with that being said, I think this guy is an, a great artist. I'm looking forward to see him more and I'm only looking forward to see him up there. I'm looking forward to, to see him like anywhere. So thank you for watching Celeste Production. Please make sure you like the video. And also, if you are watching from TikTok, you can like, tag him. Like, just anything. Just do anything to hype this guy. So with that being said, yeah, thank you for watching Celeste Production. I'm on a journey. This world is never my home. I'm just passing through. Doing my best till I'm gone. I'm just a vessel carrying spirit along. My final destination very far from this world. Fana me bule basha me bia kame sele da. Wani me ke wana me man yo nye ba hea nye da. Woyi shin wo spiri ye nye loe wo fwa me da. I be vintage boy don't give me Coca Cola give me a sana. Hey Ghana, Ghana, Ghana.